Hey everybody. So before we get started, I just wanted to ask if you wouldn't mind just hitting that like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithms and helps out with the channel. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please don't be shy. Go ahead and leave a comment. I'll do my best to reply to every single one of them. Right now I've been able to keep on doing that and I will keep on replying to every single one as long as I can. Now, with that intro stuff out of the way, I have a question for you. Do you want to become an AWS Certified Solution Architect? I'll give you a second to think about that. Are you done? Good. If you answered no, just stop watching the video. Bye-bye. Still here? Cool. I guess that means you answered yes. And I'm going to explain to you exactly how I went about passing two AWS exams on my first try. So the first thing that you need to do is ask yourself a question. Why do you want to get certified? Motivation is key. If you are not properly motivated, you're just not going to pass. So you gotta find that motivation. Why are you looking to get certified? Now, I could go into example questions and things that you're likely to get asked on the exam and stuff like that, but to be honest, there's like a million videos out there, there's tons of them that go into that kind of detail. And to be completely honest with you, it just doesn't matter. So here's what I did. This is what I did in order to pass my AWS exams on the very first try. A couple of things. I played with AWS a lot. I built my own personal website, uh, website on AWS multiple times. I built my wife's blog on AWS. I built friends of mine's websites on AWS. I did a bunch of fun projects on AWS with things like EC2 and S3 and API gateways and all sorts of different types of AWS services. I also work as a living with AWS, so I just naturally am involved in the AWS ecosystem and AWS tooling. So hopefully if you're watching this, you have some experience in your job doing this. Otherwise, ask yourself again, why are you trying to get certified? If, if you don't do this on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis or for a living, please put in the comments why you're getting looking to get certified. I'm very curious. The next thing, study a lot study a lot you have to study a lot because this is not this is not an easy exam it's not just like going up and doing multiple choice questions which they are multiple choice questions but they're not simple they're not easy they're designed to mix it up and test you and make sure you really do know what you're talking about look they're not like getting into harvard but at the same time it's also not a walk in the park you need to know what you're talking about so what do i mean by study a lot some specific examples are things like, and again, I'm not trying to get into what you need to learn, what are the topics you need to do to, to pass, but this is focused around what I did, how did I pass my, my exams. So you need to look up all the different FAQs, FAQs for S3, FAQs for EC2, um, all those different kinds of FAQs are on their websites because that's ultimately where they get their questions from at a high level. And the other really, really important thing is understanding reading the white paper for the well-architected framework, link in the description below. And in terms of the well-architected framework, there really are five pillars to the well-architected framework. First pillar is operational excellence. The second pillar is security. The third pillar is reliability. The fourth pillar is performance efficiency. And the fifth pillar is cost optimization. Now, every single one of those five pillars, they can be their own complete lecture. So I'm not gonna even bother trying to go into them, maybe in a future video. Now, the other thing that I did that, honestly, this is probably the top number one thing that I did that really made or broke my passing of my AWS exams. And that is a Cloud Guru, link in the description. They are, I've said this before, I'll say this again, they are by far, there is no, in my opinion, there is no comparison, there's no competition to them. They are the best when it comes to, specifically to AWS cloud certifications. I know they have for other things, for other certs, but when it, come, when it comes to AWS certifications, they are 
awesome. Now, here's my unique approach to how I went about using the A-Cloud Guru platform and their videos and their courses. I watched, for each course that I did, I watched it twice. The first time that I watched it, I followed along the course with Ryan, Ryan Krunenberg, and when he did some, he basically, he, he shows you how, how to do it in the console. He's like, well, here's how you create an EC2 instance. Here's how you create a security group. Here's how you do N10, blah, blah, blah. So I basically followed along with him. He said, okay, we're gonna go and create an EC2 instance. We're gonna use this instance type and we're gonna use this AMI. So I paused the button. I went to my AWS console, created an EC2 instance, did it with this instance, did it with that AMI, literally followed along the entire time with him from the first video until the last video, where applicable, obviously, because, you know, some of the videos were just, you know, talking PowerPoint presentation and stuff. So that was the first time I watched it. The second time I watched the video, I just sat there and let it sink in because I'd already followed along. So I just sat there absorbing and letting it refresh my memory and remind myself, just doing like a repeat of it, just so I, I knew that I had that in my head and I was like, oh yeah, I remember doing that and it, just, it helped. And then lastly, at the end of the day, I mean, you're never going to truly feel absolutely ready. So you really just have to take that plunge, just go for it. So I, I, you just gotta schedule the exam and whether you succeed or not, you gotta go for it. You'll either sink or you'll swim. Odds are you're gonna swim. And you know what? If you don't get it, if you don't pass, it's not a big deal. Plenty of people don't pass on their first time. You just go again after, I think it's like six months that they, they make you wait until you can go again. And in the meantime, watch the video, the, the, the videos from Ryan Krunenberg a couple more times. You know, do some more uh, testing and playing around on your own, do some more reading, and then go for it again. I mean, it's not the end of the world. If you only just go and put in the dates and schedule the time, you know what, even if you don't pass, it doesn't matter. At least you see how, what your gap is, right? You see how far do you need to get You're here? Where, where's the gap to what you need in order to pass, right? So just go and schedule it, go and do it. So there you go, folks. Hopefully this was useful to you. Please let me know in the comments if it was, or if it wasn't. And if it wasn't, please let me know why not. Always looking to improve my videos. Um, I just, really want to be able to provide value to fellow solution architects and aspiring SAs. And um, my pick for this video is obviously going to be A-Cloud Guru with the link in the description. Um, they're, like I said, the best. So if you're looking to get certified, definitely go and subscribe to them, buy the course, subscribe to the platform, whatever works for you. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and just smash that like button really helps with the YouTube algorithms, really helps the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, feel free to hit the subscribe button below so you can get notifications for any new videos that I release. So thanks for watching. And in the famous words of A Cloud Guru, keep being awesome guys.